the final chapter in the Zale Graziano trilogy. And here we are in the rubber match. Rocky put in a light left hand on the chin. Zale faints the left hand. Zale goes into a crouch. So does Graziano. Graziano moves away from a jab, misses the left hand over the head of Zale. Zale is short with a pecking left hand. He drives Rocky to the ropes, driving a left hand to the body, a right to the jaw, a left and a right to the head, another sharp right to the jaw by Zale. Graziano goes in and holds on for a moment, holding Zale against the ropes. And the referee, Paul Cavalier, gets them apart. It's round one for the middleweight championship of the world. Graziano standing up now, straight, bobs and weaves a little bit, goes in, takes a grazing left hand of the jaw thrown by Zale. Zale moving in on him, wraps his left hand around the head, no damage there, and again they go in and hold on and are tied up at long range again. Zale faints the left hand, comes in with a hard left hook to the jaw, and Rocky Graziano is down. He's at the flash knockdown. He's right up without a count. Rocky seems to be all right as they go back into action. They exchange light left hands to the head. Graziano drives the right to the body, is countered with a right to the body by Tony Zale, the man of steel from Gary, Indiana. Zale drives the right hand to the back. Graziano takes a light left hook on the jaw, two jabs on the mouth thrown by Tony Zale. Rocky is wild with a right hand over the head. Zale comes in, driving a right to the midsection, misses the right hand over the head of Graziano. Referee Paul Cavalier goes over and now is getting them out of a clinch. At long range again here in round one. Graziano misses the left over the head. It's countered by a left hook on the head by Zale. Zale biding his time. Shoots out a jab that's short. A sharp jab on the mouth by Zale. A short right hand of the body. And again they go into close quarters and tie each other up. Parted by the referee, they go back into action. Zale cautiously drives a right to the body, a left hook to the jaw, another left to the head, a right hand to the body by Tony Zale. And Rocky Graziano makes no return. He was down earlier in the round. Graziano takes a light left hook on the jaw, goes in, and they tie each other up in another clinch. The referee having a bit of trouble getting them apart this time. Now at long range again. Graziano shoots out a jab that's short, so does Zale. That's also short. Zale drives a left hook to the head, a connecting left by Tony Zale. He gets under a left by Rocky Graziano, who seems to be off his game at the moment. Graziano faints the left hand, drives the left hook to the jaw of Zale. Zale shoots out a left that's short, takes the left hook on the mouth, drives Graziano back with a left hook on the jaw. Graziano biding his time now, faints the left hand, takes the right to the body, a left hand to the head, and then puts his own left hook to the jaw of Zale as they go in close again. At long range, Graziano out of a crouch, misses a sweeping right uppercut. Then misses a left hand. He's short with the left. Zale puts a light left on the jaw. A hard jab on the mouth by Tony Zale. A right that goes to the back. A left hook that hurts Graziano. A right hand to the body. Another left hook to the jaw. And Graziano is hurt again. And against the ropes. He takes the left and a right to the head. And the bell rings and nobody hears it. Round two for the middleweight championship of the world. Rocky in the dark trunks. Zale in the purple trunks. The referee is Paul Cavalier. Rocky was down in the first round. Let's see how he does now. He's defending his title. Rocky comes in with a wild left that barely reaches the jaw of Tony Zale. Zale calmly drives the right hand to the head. Zale faints the left hand. Rocky coming in on him out of a half crouch. Sticks out a left that's short of the mark. Graziano drives the left hand to the jaw. It gets in there. Zale goes into a crouch. Gets away from the left. His own left is short. Graziano drives to the right to the body. He takes a left and a right to the jaw by Zale. Graziano is short with the left hand. Zale drives the right to the body. Rocky hooks his own left hand to the jaw. A light jab on the nose by Tony Zale. Graziano out of a half crouch. He bobs and weaves a lot. He comes in there with a lead right hand to the jaw. Another right to the jaw by Graziano. Zale sticks out a left that's short. Another jab by Zale is short of the mark. Graziano sticks out a left hand. It also is short. Graziano out of a half crouch. Gets away from a pecking left. Takes a left hook on the jaw by Zale. Graziano, painting the left hand, sticks out a left that's short. Another is short of the mark. Zale backing away, puts a light jab on the chin, takes a hard left jab to the jaw thrown by Graziano. Graziano takes a light jab on the nose. Zale biding his time, backs away, takes a grazing right to the chin, counters with a left that's blocked, and Graziano hooks a left hand to the jaw that may have hurt Zale. Graziano out of a half crouch, takes a hard jab on the chin. Zale feigning the left hand, pecks away with that left jab again, ducks the right, fired at his head. Graziano out of a half crouch gets away from three left leads by Tony Zale. Graziano ducks another left hand, sticks out a left that's short, hooks the left hand to the jaw of Zale. Zale faints the left hand, 
Gets away from a light left thrown out his body by Graziano. Graziano, a hard jab on the chin, drives Zale back a little bit. Graziano is the aggressor here in round two. After being hurt in round one, he takes a left and a right to the jaw. Graziano comes back with a short right to the jaw. That was a very hard punch. Zale comes in with a, a sizzling right to the jaw, a right to the body, a left hook to the head by Zale, and Graziano drives him back with two right hands to the head, and Zale goes in and holds on for a moment. The referee is Paul Cavalier as Zale drives a right to the body, a right to the jaw, putting Graziano on the ropes again. Graziano comes off the ropes, runs into a right to a body, and then gets away from a right. Graziano faints the left, hooks the left to the jaw, takes a jab on the mouth by Zale. Graziano's left goes to the head, a right, another left, and another right to the jaw by Z Graziano in his best rally of the fight so far. He puts another left hook to the jaw. He's evening things up here in round two. A right to the jaw by Graziano, and then he misses a right and the left. Scores with another right to the jaw of Zale. Zale dances up and down, takes a right to the body. His left hand of the body is blocked by Graziano. And again, the referee gets him apart. It's round two. Zale, biding his time, comes in with a hard left hook to the jaw of Graziano at the bell. Graziano, a hard right hand to the body of Zale. Zale, biding his time again, gets away from the right, drives a right to the body, a hard left hook to the jaw that may have hurt Graziano. Graziano is driven back and he's wobbly from the left hook to the jaw, and Zale is on him with a flurry of punches. Another left hook to the jaw, and Graziano almost goes down but doesn't. He takes a right to the body, a left hook to the jaw. Again, Graziano is staggered, and I don't know what's holding him up. He takes the right hand of the body. Zale drives the right hand that grazes the chin. Graziano comes back, fights gamely, but goes down from two left hooks on the jaw. And he's taking the count from referee Paul Cavalier. Graziano just up at the count of eight. He is a very wobbly young man. Zale coming after him again, trying for knockout. Drives a right to the body, a right and a left to the jaw. A left hook to the jaw, right up a cut on the mouth by Zale. A left hook to the jaw, and Graziano gamely fights back with the left hand to the chin. A right to the body, a left hook to the jaw by Zale again. And Graziano is blown on the canvas. And the count is five, six, seven, eight. He's not going to make it. Nine, ten. He is knocked out, and Tony Zale has regained the middleweight championship of the world. The first middleweight to do that since Stanley Ketchel.